Hello, in this problem we're going to prove that 17n cubed plus 103n is divisible by 6 for all integers n greater than or equal to 0. And we're going to do it via the principle of mathematical induction, so proof. Now, before we start the proof, let me just briefly refresh your memory on what this actually means. So we say that a divides b written like this, or b is divisible by a, this is the same thing as saying that b is a multiple of a. So b is equal to some integer, say m, times a. So for some integer m. So a divides b, it's the same thing as saying b is divisible by a, it's the same thing as saying b is a multiple of a, which basically means b is equal to an integer times a. So that's how we're going to think about it in this problem. And also, since we're using induction, we should specify what our statement is. So our statement is this piece here that I'm putting in a box. And I'll give it a name just for emphasis. We're going to call this s sub n. So we have to show that s sub n is true for all integers n greater than or equal to zero. And induction is a way to do that. So in an induction proof, there are different steps. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually label the steps. So the first step is called the base case. And in the base case, you want to show that your statement, so S sub n, is true for the smallest positive integer in question or rather the smallest integer in question. I always say positive, but the smallest integer in question is actually zero in this case. So we have to show our statement is true when n equals zero. So let's look at that case. When n is zero, we have 17 times zero cubed plus 103 times zero, and that's equal to zero. So the question is, is this a multiple of six? It is, because you can write this as 0 times 6. So this is equal to an integer, which is m, right? This is our m, and this is our a, right? This is our a, so it's a multiple of 6. So um, that basically means that our statement is true when n equals 0, so s sub 0 is true, right? The validity of our statement uh, when n equals zero has been satisfied. All right, so now we can go to the induction hypothesis. So induction hypothesis, that's the next step. And in the induction hypothesis, I'll abbreviate it IH, we basically assume that our statement is true for some integer k greater than or equal to zero. So we assume s sub k is true. So this is where you assume s sub k is true. So all we write down is that. So I'll say suppose that 17k cubed plus 103k is divisible by six. for some integer k greater than or equal to zero. I always want to say for some positive integer, but in this, most of the time we start at one. In this case though, we're starting at zero. All right, and then the next step is the induction step. So induction step and in this step, we have to show s sub k plus 1 is true. So we have to show s sub k plus 1 is true. So we have to show that our statement is true when n equals k plus 1. So I'm going to write down what we're trying to show. The claim is that um, the uh, statement is true when n is k plus 1. So 17 times k plus 1 cubed plus 103 times k plus 1 is divisible by 6. So claim that. 17 times k plus 1 cubed plus 103 times k plus 1 
is divisible by six. In other words, is a multiple of six. So it is divisible by six. Okay, so to do this, we're just going to do it. <laughs> we'll start by writing this down and we're gonna see what happens. So we have 17 a plus one cubed plus 103 times k plus one. And so we somehow have to use uh, the induction hypothesis. So we, we have to get this somehow. So the natural thing to do is actually just multiply this out. So this is going to be equal to 17. And k plus 1 cubed is actually k cubed plus 3k squared plus 3k plus 1. Okay, I just have that memorized. Uh, so k plus 1 cubed is equal to all of this. Plus, and then 103 times k is 103 times k. Sounds like a radio station. <laughs> 103 jams. <laughs> and then 103 times 1 is 103. And I guess the next thing to do is just, um, you know, multiply, multiply this out. So this will be 17k cubed plus 17 times 3 is 51. So we get 51k squared. Same thing here, except we get 51k. And then 17 times 1 is 17. And then here we still have uh, the 103k plus 103. Okay, so let's think here. We need to use our induction hypothesis, which is, let me scroll up, it's right here. So it's 17k cubed plus 103k. So we have that here. So I'll write that down, 17k cubed. And then we have that here, so 103k. Right, and then what's left? Let's see, we've got 51k squared so plus 51k squared, so check, then 51k, oops, 51k, check, and then we've got 17 plus 103, so that's 120. All right, let's keep going here. So um, by the induction hypothesis, we know that this here is divisible by six, right? That's what it says up here. I'm circling it in blue so you see it. That's the induction hypothesis. In other words, it's a multiple of six. So it's equal to um, an integer times six. So this will be equal to, let's just say 6m. Okay, and I'll write that in a minute uh, for some integer m greater than or equal to zero. So this is by the induction hypothesis. And then let's see what we can do here. This 120 is also divisible by six. So I'm gonna write it over here, plus six times 20. That's 120, just to show that we can pull out a six at some point, because the goal is to show that all of this is a multiple of six, plus. And then here, it might be a little confusing because, um, you know, six does not divide uh, 51, right? I mean, six times eight is uh, 48, six times nine is 54, so what do we do? So this is a sticking point, I think, for a lot of people in this problem. So what we're gonna do is just try to factor out and cross our fingers, and look what happens. We can pull out a 51k, and we're left with k plus one. Okay, and this is important. Uh, this is important because we know something about k times k plus one, or maybe you don't, so I'll tell you. So k times k plus one is even. Um, the product of two consecutive integers is even. So I'm gonna, so product, so you need that of two consecutive integers is even. So that's a fact that we're going to use in this induction proof. So it makes it a little bit harder than um, other induction proofs out there that don't rely on things that, that you might not know. <laughs> so a little bit sneaky in that regard. It's not hard once you know this, but it's something that's worth knowing. It's easy to prove. I'll, I'll make a video, I'll hopefully improve it. So, so this is equal to 6m plus six times 20 plus, and then 51, we can write this as 17 times three times, 
and this is equal to let's say 2p. I probably should have said something about the m. So uh, let me just say it here for some integers m and p. I just I should have said that I should have said the m thing here for some integer m up here. So maybe say that up here. And this is equal to 6m plus 6 times 20 plus, and then this is 6 times 17p. So this is 6m plus 20 plus 17p. And we basically have 6 times an integer. So where m plus 20 plus 17p uh, is an integer. So this shows that this is a multiple of 6. In other words, this is divisible by 6. In other words, s sub k plus 1 is true. So let me just say, so 17k plus 1 cubed plus 103 times k plus 1 is divisible by 6. Divisible by 6. So this shows that the statement is true when n equals k plus 1. So this shows s sub k plus 1 is true. So what have we done? We've shown that our statement, s sub n, is true when uh, n equals 0. And we've shown that if our statement is true for some k, it's also true for k plus 1. When you combine these, those two things, um, you satisfy the criteria for the principle of mathematical induction. So now we can say, thus, by the principle of mathematical induction, so mathematical induction, Our statement s sub n is true for all integers n greater than or equal to 0. So we have that 17n cubed plus 103n is divisible by 6 for all integers n greater than or equal to 0. And that completes the proof. And the only thing that's a little bit sloppy here, I think, is right here. I should have said for some just a m and z m an element of z, this this funny z is the set of integers so you should have said that here and then here um for some integer p so here say the the part about p say it in this line here so for some integer So you want to say that in this line and then say this one in this line just to make it a perfect proof because proofs are supposed to be airtight or watertight or something tight. <laughs> so you want a clean proof. Um, so I think that's it. Hopefully this has been helpful to uh, someone out there who is uh, trying to uh, learn some stuff, learn some induction. And yeah, it's a, it's a good problem because... It requires that you have this extra knowledge, so I, I think that's a sticking point for a lot of people. In any case, I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there. Good luck, and take care.